AI gets a lot of bad rap because people think about robots going around screaming and killing each other and, and taking all of our jobs. But in reality, AI in the use for black swan and white swan is cutting wastage, it's saving lives, it's helping us understand really complex problems, which as human beings, we just simply can't. Black Swan uses a technique called social prediction. Uh, we listen to all of the conversations that are happening in the internet, and if you imagine pretty much everything you're going to do is on the internet, so everything I'm going to do on the weekend, who I hate, who I love, what I'm going to eat, everything is there and I'm talking about it. When you imagine that we've got six billion people talking on social networks, all of that information can be then looked at and made into trends, and then we use these trends to make predictions far into the future. One of the things which amazes me all the time is how useful these predictions are again and again. And one of my favourite predictions was with a client of ours, GSK, where they needed to predict cold and flu outbreaks five days before they happen. So if you want to take vitamins to boost your immune system, you need to do that a good four or five days before flu hits. So uh, we won an award with Google for producing a model which allowed us to predict at the town level five days before cold and flu had hit that it was going to hit. This was made by looking at five years of data of cold and flu products and prescriptions, but also weather variations, people on Twitter saying, oh, I've got a bit of a sneeze or I'm not going to work today. All those things combined allow us to be incredibly accurate about when influenza will hit. And that was used to drive marketing and to drive stock levels for GSK. Um, they then kindly let us use that model for the NHS. That model is very useful for accident and emergency. If you're um, old, if you're 70 or above and you come down with flu, you need to go straight to accident and emergency. But if the hospital isn't ready for you, because it doesn't have a reliable forecast that flu is going to drive people into A&E, then unfortunately they're not going to be able to give you the right kind of service. So it always amazes me how you know, this model can be useful for one thing but then used for another, and that's one of the great things about our job. As we'd gone on and on with Black Swan and we'd found all these amazing commercial applications of helping marketing and, and helping wastage and, and powering innovation, um, we then started to look at, well, what could we do which was a bit different to give a little bit back? What if we could just take the same IP, because we can, and then put some of our time towards it and really make a difference in the world? So for Black Swan, we are hugely ambitious. You know, we want to reach the NASDAQ. We want to be one of the European companies that can stand with the greats of Google and Apple and say that, yeah, we've produced a product that is really changing the way that people are, are doing things in life. And that really mirrors itself in White Swan as well. You know, we think there's something really important here. We think we can make a huge difference. We'd like to leave the world in a better place than we found it.